Hey there folks, my name is Luke. Welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. Today, I am reviewing this product right here. This is the Go Cot. G-O-K-O-T. This is a backpacking cot which has been out on the market for a very long time, since 1978. It's made in the United States and it is without a doubt a very interesting product. Guys, gals, grab yourselves a cup of coffee. Let's get to the review. So let's go ahead and take a look here at the cot. As you can see, it comes in this travel bag. You have an adjustable sling. You have a buckle, which opens up the storage bag. Here are the legs to the cot. And here is the cot itself. You also receive some instructions on how to assemble the cot. We now have the components out of the storage sack. Let's take a look at these individually. First off, you receive six legs. Floor guards are included. This is so you don't damage your hardwood floors or the floor of your tent. Then you have the cot itself. Now guys, check this out. The process of setup here is so incredibly easy. It is one of the easiest cots, one of the quickest cots I've ever set up. There really isn't anything like this out on the market. I have plenty of cots and most of the time it's not worth the effort. Some could be extremely difficult to put up sometimes requiring two people. Not this one. This is super, super simple. So as you can see here, the cot is unfolded. This is the bottom side. Now take a look here. You can see that there's an aluminum pole that goes all the way down. It is foldable. It's on both sides. And here on this aluminum pole, you have holes. You have one here, and then you have another hole on the other side. This is essentially the case all the way down the cot. It is those holes that you put the legs into. So you slide it into the hole and do the same for the other side. Just like that, super simple. I will go ahead and insert the rest of the legs. This is a super simple, super quick process. It's very, very easy. The legs go into place very easily. And just like that, the cot is ready to go. Now before jumping to the review, let's go over some stats for the Go Cot. When it comes to sizes, there are two available. There's a regular size, which is 74 inches long. And then there's an extra large size, which is 84 inches long. Both of them offer you the same amount of width. With the regular size here, this is 74 inches long. It is 26 inches wide, and it gives you eight inches of height. The carry bag is 28 inches long. It is eight inches wide and has a depth of around three inches. The weight of this bad boy is right at nine pounds. So it's not super lightweight by any means, but it's also not very heavy compared to other offerings out on the market. This is made fully in the United States. It has a weight capacity of 350 pounds. It is constructed with 1000 denier nylon, Cordura. It features an aluminum frame and steel legs. Now, when it comes to GoCot, this is a company that has been around for a long time. In fact, they just celebrated their 40th year in business. Congratulations, ladies. That is awesome. Yes, this is a woman-owned company, also a veteran-owned company. Thank you all for your service. Now, this is a product that I have been testing out for the last couple of months, and I'm ready to pass on my full review. Now, first off, let me go ahead and say that this is an ingenious product. Like I mentioned before, I have plenty of cots at my house. I use them from time to time. Most of the time, it's just not worth the hassle. It takes too long to set them up. They're too high off the ground. They don't work well with your tent and so on, but not this one. This product was developed with numerous aspects in mind, including backpacking and of course at home use, travel and so on. And it really does work well in both of those regards. As you all can see, this is fairly long. It's 74 inches for the regular version six foot in other words this will fit most people of course if you're taller than that you can get the extra long version you know for myself with my testing it's very very comfortable and it's even comfortable for the individuals that i know who have used it at my house who are over six foot my buddy josh he is around six four he slept on this with no issues would he enjoy the longer version better probably but he used what I got and it worked just fine. When it comes to stability, there's nothing really here to complain about. Of course, if you swing very sharply to one side or to the other right on the edge, you can flip this thing over. But realistically speaking, you will have no issues. 
The design for this product is exceptional in my opinion, especially when compared to other products out on the market. It's super simple to set up. You can do this in less than 30 seconds. I mean, it really is that fast. You simply pull it out of the storage bag, put in the legs, and you're done. There's nothing to it. The breakdown process is virtually the same way. Minor complaint. This storage sack is a little bit tight in my opinion. Once you roll up the cot, shove it in, and then you go to put in the legs, it's very, very tight. The legs will have a tendency to protrude here at the end, unless you really take the time and kind of push them down. I would like to see the storage bag being just slightly wider and a little bit longer. There's nothing wrong with having additional space inside of your storage bag. That goes for tents and cots as well. Another pro for this cut is the form factor. It's very small, it's very manageable. It's not bad. Because of its size, you can attach this to the outside of your backpack very easily, to the bottom, to the front, and so on. Yes, it is going to be heavy. 10 pounds is a lot of weight to add to your backpack. But for individuals who need to get off of the ground for their backpacking experiences to be enjoyable, this is something they need to consider, especially those who have hip problems, knee problems, back problems, and so on. There is no air mattress or mat in the world that is going to compare to something like this. This thing is extremely comfortable. There's no doubt about that. Let's talk about price, 150 bucks for this cot. You know, it's not very cheap, but at the same time, it's not really expensive either compared to other offerings out on the market. We are talking about backpacking specific cots. And with that being the case, the lighter weight that you go, the more expensive these bad boys become. Yes, you can find cheaper cots out on the market, but they are going to be very, very heavy and complicated to set up. When it comes to the materials, we are talking about the best of the best. We have Kodora 1000 denier. We have the steel legs, the aluminum frame. This cut is top notch in regards to materials, build construction and quality. This is something that will last you a very long time. And the truth is you could find these from the 70s still being offered like on eBay and so on. I saw one the other day, it was very old and I think it was selling for about 70 bucks. That is a good testament to these products and how well they are made. Before we discuss the cons in regards to this cot, let's talk about the low profile. This is a huge plus to this cot, a huge plus. Check this out. With this cot having a low profile of around eight inches, that means that it will fit inside of your tent. It fits in there perfectly, doesn't it? That is very, very important because most cots are very high off the ground, so high in fact, that they will not fit inside of most backpacking tents. If you happen to have a car camping tent that is gigantic, yes, those other cots will fit in there. But if you're out backpacking, you know, if you have a one person, two person tent, they won't fit, but this one will. So let's move on and let's talk about some cons here for a second. $150. That is expensive, you can't deny that. The flip side to this is that it is made in the United States, the materials, the quality, the design, everything's excellent. So you do get what you pay for, but of course the price is high. There's no doubt about that. We have to talk about weight as a con because this is 10 pounds. 10 pounds is quite a bit of weight, especially when it comes to backpacking. If you're going out on a multi-day trip, you may not want to add 10 additional pounds to your pack, of course, Everyone's different, their needs, their likes, preferences, and so on, everybody's different. So it really depends on the type of backpacker, the type of camping trip that you're going on. One funny review that I noticed when I was going out getting all my information ready for this video, there was a review on Amazon, and I'll read you the quote. It said, it doesn't add hardly any weight to our backpacks. <laughs> that is complete crap. 10 pounds, you will notice 10 pounds. 10 pounds is quite a bit. And that is definitely true with this cot. There are lighter cots out on the market, but you will pay up to $300 for them. I think this is a good balance in weight and in price. Let's talk about the Kodora material real quick. You know, I have to admit, it's a little bit rough. It's a little bit rough to lay on. It's rough against your skin your arms, your, your legs, you really won't notice it that bad, but definitely up here on the top, your arms will, you'll notice it. If your face is ever on this, you'll notice that the material is rough. If you are camping in a warm location and you're sleeping, say, with your shirt off, you will feel this material against your skin and it's not the most comfortable out there. Since it's been the warmer months while I've been testing this out, I've been going to bed shirtless and whatnot, I have to lay something down over the top of this material. It's just too rough. You can hear it. You have to have a sheet, you have to put down a shirt, a blanket, something like that. If you're inside of a sleeping bag and it's cool enough for that, 
you won't notice the material at all. But if you're using a blanket like I often do in the summertime, you will definitely feel it. So let's summarize my review here, folks. Now, honestly, I didn't expect to like this cot as much as I do, and I based that on my experiences with other cots that are out on the market. I have all sorts of cots, military cots, expensive ones, you know, backpacking cots, even very cheap Aldi's cots. And they could be a real chore to use. They could be a real chore to set up, break down, and to carry. This product here is very smart. That's the word for it. It's very, very smart, very ingenious. The design is absolutely fantastic, and it really does set it up above everybody else. It could not be any easier with this product. The design for this is very unique. I have not seen it elsewhere. It's not the lightest, it's not the heaviest, it's not the cheapest, it's not the most expensive. It offers you that perfect balance of weight, durability, functionality, ease of setup, ease of carry. With that being said, folks, my question for you all is this. What do you guys think about the Go Cot? Is this something that you would consider for yourself, for your own backpacking needs? If you have issues with your back, your hips, your knees, and so on, this is a product which you need to consider because it offers you such good support. I mean, that is so incredibly comfortable. At 24 inches wide, I do feel like for larger individuals, it could be a little wider. I have very broad shoulders. I'm not very tall, but with that being the case, I could easily use this. As I mentioned before, some of my buddies at the house who have come over and stayed a little bit, no issues at all with them being over six foot. So there you go. If you guys have any questions for me, email me. Until next time, everyone, take care, strength and honor. See you all around.